draft season, baby. Let's keep going over some prospects. Today we're looking at an edge defender out of Oklahoma, Nick Bonito. 6'3", 248, 32.5-inch arms, 9 and 3 eighths hands. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay, I'll take that. Guy's got some speed to his game, 4'5", 4, 4. Typical edge rusher, let's put it that way. And you look at him, 3.5, 8.5, 7. I like the forced fumbles here he has. He's going to be winning in the NFL just as a, on third downs. This is what he's going to be. And he's going to have to develop his game. But initially, there's a lot to like with him being that edge de- edge defender and getting after the quarterback. This is what this game's all about. Either you can throw the ball or you're stopping the guy from throwing the ball. And this is a guy that can stop the, the quarterback from throwing it. So plus, what do you initially like for number 11 over here? And what does he bring to the game? Explosive, natural, just edge bender. I mean, you, you see him go around the corner there being able to bend and, and get after the quarterback. And, and like you said, said, you know, stopping the quarterback from throwing the football does that on this play with a strip sack and just really explosive athlete. And it's really fun to watch him play. Yeah, and the speed on the outside is real. And his bendiness is real. Look at the athleticism here. Look at him cut on a dime. He's like a running back here. Look at his little shuffle cut, get after it. Quarterback going down. It's, it is real. I mean, they change direction speed, not falling for it. Usually bigger, heavier guys can't keep up with that. And then the acceleration and burst to get after the quarterback and bring him down. I mean, he's got a lot of traits, but with being lighter, you can get thrown around, especially in the NFL. This one, I think it's showcasing perfectly his balance, his bend. Look how low he gets here. I mean, look at the transitioning. His head's not getting too far over his toes, so the defensive or the offensive lineman can't push him down to the ground staying level and gets a hit on the quarterback i don't know how he gets this thing out but this is just so fluid bringing his whole lower half down and getting after the quarterback what do you like with that one right and like you said just the natural bend that he has and i like how he turns his shoulders into the offensive lineman and he takes a direct path to the quarterback you see with that little arm nudge there doesn't get off balance maintains it and just continues to fight through, and he just runs into the quarterback with a with a nice hit. So we're going to see that consistently on tape, and I think that's something that he can do at the next level um, quite often and, and be that edge rusher that you want on third downs. Again, you see it here, being able to rip under that arm. But you look at the ankle flexion, look at that bend, but mainly the path that he takes as he gets to the quarterback – Gets a you know a nice hit on the quarterback, but also draws a holding penalty as the offensive lineman definitely tackles him. That was the only way to win on that one. I mean, you got to tackle him because he's going to get by you immediately. I always like seeing this. Look at the lineman as he's going around. There's no I'm, my hips are level with the the with the the line of scrimmage. No, he's just forcing you to turn your whole entire body to get after him. That's that real speed off the snap. That as a Buccaneer fan, we don't necessarily have that. Do we need it? I think so. But any team needs edge rushing ability like this. I mean, look at the immediate burst. It looks like he's on a sprint, like 100-meter dash, like already getting up the field. Makes a quarterback step up. If you have defensive tackles, I can push the pocket. That's a sack. And look what happens right here. I mean, almost gets a sack, but that speed off the edge is real. What do you like with that? Well, it's a first step is just super explosive. And he's going to be aggressive at times. And I like that nature that he plays with. And, I mean, he's just, like you said, beating the offensive lineman to the spot. He's already in the backfield, making the quarterback step up and already affecting the play. So the play's pretty much dead at that point. And that's what you want from your pass rusher, edge rushers, you know, defensive line. Nick Benito could be that guy. And, you know, we talked about, I think, off air, you know, him being like a Vic Beasley. I I could see that. And I think he's just, he could provide that specialist that you want as a pass rusher. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, that third down specialist that comes in, hopefully he can develop his game even more, but with his size, 6'3", barely 250, it's going to be harder because look at him, he just get bumped here, and he's falling to the ground. And bigger guys can throw little guys around like that, and then he looks like he's getting hurt over here. you got to get your weight up on this. But then again, when he brings his weight up, does he lose that speed? Because, I mean, this is what – Teams are going to be drafting him for. He's not going to be a first-round pick, but he brings this element of the game where you need it. Third down, money down. That's why he's going to get drafted and paid to do this, to get after the quarterback. This gifted. 
And look at this, getting attacking, getting low. He's touching the ground with his, with his hand there, then ripping up. Just needs to turn around, finish that, and he's right there. But, I mean, all the traits are there as an edge rusher. What do you like with that one? Absolutely, and, and like you mentioned, the traits, I mean, he's already got natural bend, and that's one of the biggest traits as a pass rusher. The explosiveness is there, the athleticism, obviously. So I think he's, you know, an unfinished product, but as far as his floor right now, it's really good as a pass rusher, and I think he can definitely be effective at, at the next level just doing stuff like this. I mean, here, setting the guy up outside, cutting it back inside with a swim over, finding ways to get by with his, you know, size limitation as far as, you know, weight, his ability to just beat offensive linemen with his quickness, obviously is a, is a big skill set for him. This is nasty. I mean, I'm just being flat out honest. Like we just showed you all these times he's winning the edge. He's bendy. And then look at the plant the foot in the ground, get upfield. Boom. I mean, that's like a running back hitting a hole. Oh, found my hole getting into it. It's the quarterback's just like, where the hell do I throw this ball away? Because I'm, I'm going to get it nailed in my jaw. And that's that's good elite stuff. Teams are going to really, really covet that. Really good. And again, check out immediately. Foot down, boom, inside. Crazy, crazy stuff. What do you like with that one? Oh, it's 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 super. I mean, it's, it's really good stuff. And when you can do things like this, you're already getting the offense alignment off balance. You know, with that one jab step outside, you're, you're, look how far the tackle goes. Like, he's already, again... He, he recovers well, but still you're getting that pressure, uh, interior pressure, which is what you want. You're forcing the quarterback to get rid of the football a little bit faster. It affects the play. And if that and obviously guard interception, right? yeah. If that guard doesn't help out. He's probably even more just right there. And then if guys are over committing because of that, I like the timing, the timing to actually push that inside. Like the guy jumps outside, boom, now I'm jumping inside. And that's only going to get better as he's coached up and taught. Timing matters. Your hand usage matters. Don't just be a speed athletic guy. Use all these tools that you have to your disposal. And then look at this. Going from one side all the hell the way over to get into play. What do you like with that? Well, here it is just showing like his versatility. Like you don't have to use him, you know, strictly as an edge rusher. He could probably play some linebacker for you if you wanted to put him in space. Um, again, it, him going straight on and going forward I think is his best – you know, move for him, but you can see the initial quickness where he can win if it's in the run game or pass game, as we're going to see here, be able to just get by the offensive lineman real quick, make a play in the backfield. So the explosion is there, and obviously the awareness and, and smarts also follow. Yeah, the one thing you got to be weary with, guys, this aggressive, or they overanalyze the play or they just don't even think about the play. They're just going after see ball, get ball, and they're not really seeing what's happening in front of them. But in some ways, when it is playing this close to the line, it is a good thing. If you see it, go get it. But again, like I just said, he overthinks it. The ball went behind him. He didn't look at the ball. <laughs> so uh, what do you think about this? Yeah, I guess my only thing here is maybe he thinks 24 is supposed to have that gap, and it looks like he does. So maybe that's why he went after the running back. Maybe 24 is supposed to cover up and get the quarterback. But like you said, sometimes that aggression can you know, play against him. But I, I don't think it's a bad thing all the time, like you said, with him playing, you know, near the line of scrimmage. I'd rather be someone have aggression and, and get after the after the football. Yeah, and just using speed to burst, inside move again, stuff you gotta like. This, I mean, how how's he supposed to make it turn on a dime that quick? That's hard. But still, he's disrupting the play. Look at the handoff. The running back has to make a decision. He can't just go upfield because it's already taken. Now he's gonna have to make a move laterally. And it's allowing the rest of the defense to read, recognize, and get in after play. I still think it's insane. But even though he missed this tackle here, whoop, it's gone. He should be out of the play. Look at him pop right back up and almost make the tackle here. Unreal. Unreal athleticism. What do you see? It, it, it really is. I mean, he's he's got, you know, a lot of good stuff with his game. And obviously it starts with the athleticism and the burst, the get off, the natural bend. He's going to be a, a very solid pass rusher, I think, at the next level. And obviously, he's going to help some team. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see where he goes in the draft. But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Nick Benito out of Oklahoma. If, if your team's looking for a pass rusher, I think you got to look at this guy, you know, especially on day two. He could be some good value. And 
with that said, you know, leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys think. And until the next one.